Uh, we got dispatched to uh, the 2000 block of Brenner for a, uh, we came in as an electrical fire. Uh, residents say they had smoke coming out from underneath their house. Uh, first units arrived on scene. Uh, did note that there was some moderate smoke that they seen from the back side of the house. Uh, once crews got inside, uh, they went into investigation mode. Uh, they found that there was a fire behind the dryer in the garage and some of the lint uh, had caught on fire that was in the dryer bin. Um, they were able to knock the fire down uh, behind the dryer uh, fairly quickly. Uh, quite a bit of smoke underneath the house and into the house. Um, they were able to evacuate all that smoke out. Uh, there was no fire extension uh, other than some electrical that got damaged by the dryer. So all in all, uh, it was a good stop. Uh, not a lot of damage of what it could have been. And uh, the uh, homeowners have already contacted the uh, private uh, electrician and he's going to take care of the electrical side of it. So dryers, they have that lint trap that's in the dryer, but is it suggested to clean out the uh, tube behind the dryer? Yeah, th actually you should, and, and it's something that everybody forgets, um, but the lint accumulates all the way through that whole vent run, and it builds up over time, and you know, older homes like this uh, may have never been cleaned. Um, for, for a lot of years, and uh, that heats up, fire starts, and it can burn that whole run. So it's it's a good idea to get that out. It is you can do it yourself, and it is difficult to do. There are commercial companies that do it as well, but uh, it's something to think about. And, and maybe not necessarily every year, but certainly uh, every every few years, give give that a thought. You know, one thing I've always done in my life is if I'm leaving the house, I make sure I'm not using the dryer. Is that something a good idea? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I I never leave my house with my dryer running. I like to have somebody there just in the event that something like that happens because it doesn't take and even the even the filter even the lint filter uh, trap that's on the dryer it only takes a couple of loads and that is full and, and tight and you're not getting that airflow in there and that needs to be cleaned up nearly every time you use the dryer so yeah it's a good idea to have some, someone there just like these folks they were here they they sensed it early and uh, you know uh, a disaster didn't happen very good thank you very much all right have a good day